Hi everybody, Dennis Foley from Acoustic Fields. I thought we'd have a little bit of fun today with happy primary reflection. This is kind of a, an interesting thing, but it speaks a lot to the requirements that we have to have for two-channel audio. What are those requirements? We have to the equilateral triangle because, you know, sound travels at a certain speed, so it has to have the arrival times that are equal for left and right channel. Just as important are those reflections off the sidewalls, remember? Those have to be calculated rates and levels and distances. So it's just, just as important as sidewall to speaker distance, just as important as the equilateral triangle distance that we have to do. So we got to control the time signature of this because we've got the direct energy from the speaker and we got the reflected energy. So we got this kind of conflicting situation here. So we got to slow this one down, you know, so it, the direct energy gets there, but there's a time window, you know, there's a 10 to a 20 millisecond time window that we have to work with in order to get that strong center image. And I'll show you a really great way to do that one day in a video. So we've got that direct versus balance uh, energy. And you can see in this graphic, you know, we got primary, secondary, and tertiary reflection. So we got three real major reflections that we have to manage the time signature on in order to get that balance between direct and reflected energy. Okay, so we got to reduce the t uh, time signature lower than direct. We already examined that. And look at this picture here. <laughs> I got to tell you, I laughed so hard when I saw that because, my God, that's everything that's wrong with tr people's idea of things. It's glass. It's not consistent. He's doing it to one side of the room and not the other. And anyway, I, I just had to do a video about that and share that with you all because that, that we can't have. We all know that we got to have, you know, the, even the density of the walls on the sidewall reflection. As you increase the resolution of the room becomes really, you know, invaluable. So you, you can even fine tune the density of the wall to get the pressure, you know, balanced so it's not phasey in terms of pressure and pressure can be phasey so you have to be really really careful here so i just thought <laughs> that was a funny way of showing people exactly what not to do in a situation like that so kind of funny happy primary reflection hope this helps thank you thank you for watching this video and if you liked it please give us a thumbs up we also have a newsletter that you can subscribe to so please do that because we offer special price discounts to only those on our newsletter. And then don't forget about our forum. We have started a forum on our own website where people ask questions and I usually get a chance every couple days to look at it. There's an interchange between people on the forum and we'll give you real answers uh, on a regular basis. So that'll help you. Thank you.